U.S. President Joe Biden called the operation of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region a real dilemma for Putin. According to him, the White House administration is monitoring the development. At the same time, Joe Biden did not give an assessment of the actions of the Ukrainian military. I have spoken with my staff on a regular basis, probably every four or five hours for the last six or eight days. And uh, it's, uh, it's creating a real dilemma for Immediately after the start of the operation of the armed forces of Ukraine in the Kursk region, Washington declared that Kiev has every right to defend itself in this way and also that the military actions on the territory of Russia are a direct consequence of the invasion of Ukraine. The only people at war in Ukraine are the Russians. They are the ones that invaded Ukraine. And Ukraine is defending itself against that aggression. This is Putin's war against Russia. And if he doesn't like it, if it is making him a little uncomfortable, then there's an easy solution. He can just get the hell out of Ukraine and call it a day. John Kirby, White House National Security Communications Advisor, on the White House website. Kevin Toon insists that the operation on Russian territory is purely tactical in nature. Unlike Russia, Ukraine doesn't need someone else's property. Ukraine is not interested in seizing the territory of the Kursk region, but we want to protect the lives of our people. It should be emphasized that the operation helps the front line, since it doesn't allow Russia to transfer additional units to the Donetsk region and complicates its military logistics. On August the 12th, on the sixth day of the operation of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region, American senators arrived in Kyiv for a visit. Republican Lindsey Graham and Democrat Richard Blumenthal. The politicians expressed absolute support for Ukraine's actions and Blumenthal called this event historic. Experts note that such a visit emphasizes the bipartisan support of Americans for the actions yeah, of the Ukrainian yeah, army. Uh, it is a seismic breakthrough. Good news, big news, promising even more potential breakthroughs. During the visit, American senators also appealed to the Biden administration to lift restrictions on the range of use of American weapons provided to Ukraine. In a commentary to RBC Ukraine Information Agency, the head of the Center for Military and Legal Studies of Ukraine, Oleksandr Musienko, said that most likely after returning to the U.S., the senators would begin to lobby for the lifting of these restrictions. According to the expert, the success of the Kursk operation may push Washington to such a decision, and other Western countries may follow the example of the United States. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Andrei Dmitrenko, UATV News.